Today we're going to be testing the fire alarm system that is installed in my garage, so let's get to it. This right here is a Kitty FX-64 fire alarm control panel. This is what's controlling everything. Wired to it, this is still somewhat of a new addition. This is a Honeywell Vista security system with a first alert keypad. Wired to it is a security siren, so you probably will hear that today. For a manual fire alarm pull station, we have a RSGRMS-1T, and this one is branded by Global Fire Control. And I added a little lift and pull dual action cover. So that's on there today. It's a double action pull station now. It used to be just a single action pull station. Going up above the fire alarm sign, we have a system sensor P2WH-LF. This particular one is set to code 3 and it is a 135 candela strobe currently. If we look over to the other side of the garage, we can see that there is a device over here. It is another system sensor low frequency sounder. It's a horn only and its model is HW-LF. And This one is actually set to continuous. On the ceiling of the garage, just for information, I do have two smoke detectors wired into the system and then there is a heat detector up in the attic, but we won't be testing those today. So let's get to it. So how many of you remember fire drills in school? Those were always interesting. This panel right here has a fire drill feature which makes doing fire drills very easy. So that's what we're going to be testing first today. And then after the fire drill, we will go and simulate a real fire by pulling the manual fire alarm pull station that I have over there. So with this panel, when you do a fire drill through the settings, the alarm relay does not activate. And right now, the relay right here is wired in to the security system, so all that means is this siren will not activate. When we do test the manual fire alarm pull station, it will be simulating a real fire so everything will be activating then. Okay, so fire drill time. Let's go into our main menu. We can scroll down to control, select it, and then the password by default is 1111. That's often changed though when it's installed. And as you can see, the first option here is drill. And all you have to do to start the drill is press enter. So we're gonna do that. All right, it's time to hear what these alarms sound like. And three, two, one. And to end the fire drill, it's super easy. All you have to do is press the enter button again. This panel makes it really easy to do fire drills. Before we pull the pull station, I thought you might want to know this fun fact about these alarms. So did you notice how these alarms had a lower frequency? Well, that's because these are low frequency sounders. These are special alarms that are meant for sleeping areas. And why is that? Well, studies show that you actually will wake up faster and more easily to a lower frequency. So a few years ago, NFPA, the National Fire Protection Association, put out a code to have low frequency alarms installed in sleeping areas. That's kind of a fun fact. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and pull the Global Fire Control T-Bar, simulating a real fire emergency. Here we go.
As you can see on the panel, the alarm light is flashing. And notice that didn't happen last time when we did the fire drill. It's because last time it wasn't a real alarm. All right, the fire alarm has been pulled, so let's go ahead and reset the pull station, which takes a special key. You do that by opening it up, and then pushing the handle back up, and then closing it. That's pretty easy, isn't it? And then you close the dual action cover. Now that the pull station has been reset, back over here at Command Central, we'll go ahead and reset the panels. So for the fire alarm control panel, we just press the reset button, and it'll take about 60 seconds for it to clear. And then with the security system, we hit the off button, which turned off the siren, but to actually reset it, we have to enter in the passcode and hit the off button twice. There's one. And that's twice. And it says there's a fault on the first circuit, so I'll have to look at that a little later. This is still a relatively new system for me, so I'm still figuring it all out. And as we can see, the fire alarm control panel is now reset. System is normal. All right, everyone, that's gonna be plenty of testing for the fire alarm system in my garage today. I hope you found this video interesting. It's definitely a unique hobby. And at the end of the day, I know this garage is safe. Thank you for watching this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day.